Okay. So here we are back at the start of the quest. This time I've chosen warriors for both decks. And so let's try this. Um, the Octagon will respond, yes. Okay. So both decks get shadows. Not playing anything here. But next round I can get steward and some tracker and things. So it should be good. Here, let's see. Well, I don't have a test of will. So I'll see this in the point. Saving for one, get the stargazer down for that way. Uh hmm. Well, I'll take the Zigan Miner. Owen would be helpful, but I don't really need another Fortune of Fate. Uh, so something like that, I guess. And then let's stick the light of Valinor onto Elrond. So now, we can quest for 3, 6, 10, 12. Reveal. Try to. Okay. And flame reserve ended with. Okay, so that's full threat. I make eight progress. And I'm going to discard cards to Eowyn, so I'll make more Scarlet Moon Tracker. And discard Silver Archer, I think. Travel to the Plains of Enigma. I do not have to engage the tribesmen at this time, which is good. And now I don't think that I can really risk, I can really afford to risk taking his undefended. So, now I want to defend. Yep, okay, plus two attack. So, two damage. Throw it on the defend here. Okay, let's. We lock my deck. There's no deal. The two damage to this one. And that will be it. So, control A. Remove the time counter. Each of these gets a shadow card. Oh no, no, sorry. We do not draw cards. So, no shadows. Well, let's unlock my deck now. So. Mining. Let's start the gaze again. Aha! Another tracker. But I suppose now the question comes which I'm more bothered about between resources and how many resources I get and what ends up in my discard pile. In fact, I should have no on this. Uh, so let's set it up like this. And two. So now at this point, I can, if I want, 
discard Kaldara to bring in a Northern Tracker and Arwen. Because I don't have the resources to play Fortune and Fate right now. I do have resources to play Unexpected Courage. So I think I would do that. Play it on Arwen. Alright, so also put Steven of Gondor onto Arwen. Circumstances, let's play a warden here. And a guide. Gentles play with plus one to all its stats, and I can choose summon quest without exhausting. Now I'm already quests without exhausting, so I guess it's Caliborn or Frodo. I suppose. Frodo could defend that. Caliborn could attack. So let's say Caliborn. And over here, I am in fact going to discard Kaldara to bring in a Northern Tracker and Arwen. So there's zero threat in the staging area. Most for four, six, nine, twelve. That's probably enough. There we go, foothills. Surge. Ah, don't want to drive some more. Okay, we need to play a card. Each player must assign X damage among characters he controls, where X is the number of characters that player controls. Okay, so that's five over here. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have a test of will be long. No. So that's the next six progress. That is explored. Let's travel to the foothills. Still do not need to engage these, though I could consider it. At least one of them. So Elrond can defend twice. Frodo can defend once. Oh, and has four defense, thanks to all of them. On the other hand, if Elrond just defends both of these, then Frodo and the Tracker could kill this. Legolas and Caliban Ordinary Guide. Kill this. Hmm. Oh, actually, maybe this is still possible. So, okay, I'll engage one. That's the drive still. So, Undefended. Plus one token and another shadow card. 
plus one attack for each shadow card. So, uh, plus four. A total of seven attack. Crap by seven. Good Frodo. And defense. Plus one attack and another shadow card. Okay, so that's four attack. That one still takes no damage, thanks to one away. Yeah, plus one attack. That's five attack, so let's do some healing. That one takes one damage. Then, one, two, three attack. Kills off this warrior. Five attack kills off this tribesman. Place two progress. I play the tree people, returning when they've got to my hand. See if they're any useful in here. The top five cards. Well, there are useful things. There are no silver allies. <sighs> it's a shame. I was hoping for maybe it's a Lord Archer or Haldir. Or a Merkwood Runner. Something that would come into play with 3 attack. I can kill all Clan Warrior. Instead, I will deal 1 damage to the Dwarf Clan Warrior. And. Oh yeah, I meant to discard to AOM earlier. So then, in the refresh for of course we... Yeah, okay, hang on. Draw a lot. Is there anything else I want to do? Yes, of course there is. It's Stargate. And yeah, okay. So at the end of that, we remove a time counter, discard a hand, and draw two cards. So, here we go. Right. Steward. Let's play Fortune of Fate. Bring back Kamara. Over here, I could play Gandalf. Might be worthwhile. Definitely something to be said for the idea. Deal four damage to the tribes and kill him. And then let's quest. I could advance at this point.
That would be a decent idea. Um, what's the question for 3, 6, 10, 12, 14? This is 5, 99 progress. Which will cause me to advance. I'm going to heal now. And add Calvon. And back in for progress. We're driven back the attackers, etc. etc. What do you mean? Is the actual location? I have no items, I have no mounts. How to choose which allies to discard and which to keep. Well, here I am actually going to ditch the Warden of Healing. Make use of Gandalf for combat. And here, my usual pick would, be, would still be the Stargazer. Because I could actually keep the Miner just to keep discarding from my deck. Kandara purposes. Oh, well, it's also very good, and um, obviously it is in the tracker. Uh, it's between the one of them. See, this is the thing with the fact that I have um, and Elrond has my expensive courage. It's very good for my defences. You now I can get a million, then I can get more copies of unexpected courage. So, I'm actually going to use the Stargazer. Then, it's unfortunate that I revealed two enemies right before advancing. Must be able to take Stalkers. Kind of relatively easy targets at this point. So let's take a stop of each. Uh, and the so shuffle just got pile on the deck. Draw a count moment. And shuffle into the deck, draw a card. No, minor. Need to kill this, so I need it here. There's a lot to be said for just having both of them here. So. I'm slightly worried about this stack of shadow cards. Uh, right. Undefended. So that's one damage. Well, let's just have the moment of truth. Nothing. 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 And. Until the end of the round attacking enemy can't take damage. It could have been much worse. This one is two attack. This is two attack. And how much can I kill? 
pretty much I'm going to kill this guy, and that's going to be it. Okay, undefended. It's defended. Plus one attack, so that's fine. Got to defend this. Attack plus seven. Kill this guy. There's two progress. End of the combat phase. Oh, actually, I was going to do it. Very well equipped. Still not enough that I could discard color. I'm actually put a dent in that guy, but useful to have an allies in my discard. So, in the combat phase, I advance. Unlendings are more clever, etc. Chief Church into play. Time 10. Right. Refresh phase. Chief Church moves. Reverse time counter. There he gets that. Gandalf has discarded the point around. Okay. I've got Stargazer and Liner. to play the mine first and just mine blindly for two okay ah I don't think that is very useful let's play Master of the Forge okay Grab Vilia. Play Vilia. One to Elrond. And there he has a spirit icon, so he can play another unexpected courage on himself. And I'll have to think about whether I want him to Vilia blindly or just keep all his actions for defending with. Now, oh, uh, she removed another time counter at the end of the round. So, they're uh, requesting 4, 6, 8, 11. This is nothing, I need 4 progress. Should be fine. New rest, okay. Caldara, you're up. Ah, uh, the limit one per hero. I can't put them both on Kaldara. Um, Frodo isn't questing, so I can't put him on him. That's a massive issue. I need to find some healing. ASAP. Let's see, Elmond has more hit points than Aelin. Jeez, the chances of getting two of these in the same quest phase. Elrond has more hit points than Aelin, but he could take damage while defending as well. So I guess I'll just have to do this and hope that I get some healing out. So the good news is that I've had another threat to the stage anyway, so I explore the ravine. So, Shadow Shadow. Shadow, shadow, shadow. 
Elrond is for defense sentinel. And he can defend three times. Let's take this undefended. Okay, I'll put the one down on Kandara. Frodo can kill this. Plus one, and then another shadow. Additional attack. That's a problem. Well. Four, and now I guess I have to just use up the faint to stop him attacking. I was hoping to save the faint for over here, but. Uh, okay. Defend. Lost one, we got the shadow card. Lost one for each shadow card, so that's seven attack. Great. Um, hmm. So now let's discard Kaldara. Bring in Tracker and Traveller. does not give me enough to kill this. So I guess I'll just put one down on it. Kill this. This is the only thing I can. So, in the refresh phase, Chief Judge moves. Moves on two time, two time counters. Now it takes two damage. This really, yeah. Exhaust steward. Get another item to carve down. And I think I want this curve still the best target. This is the moment of truth. Stargaze for this deck. There is not a water feeling in there, I'm dead. <sighs> really? I suppose I should have. Done it before using the Master of the Forge, and then. No, wait, I only have one Stargazer. So there was either before or after. Oh. Seriously, the, the odds of drawing this twice in the same quest phase. I think there are only two copies. 
out of the whole encounter deck. Ugh, oh, well that's ridiculous. So I might just try one more time. Alright, one more time. So... Okay. Usually I mulligan this for uh, Stargazer, but I figured Emery, Arwen, Forging or Fate, it's a really good set of things to start with. So let's put Emery into play. Let's go with three cards. Okay, and then let's play Arwen straight away. Actually, no. No, let's play Unexpected Courage. Save a loss. So, for a stroke. And let's see, I could actually play Vilia straight away. So, yeah, let's do that. And then, okay, let's let's just go here blindly. Solemn Dragon, fantastic. Comes into play with twos in every stat. Uh, these should have shadow cards. So let's quest three, seven, nine. Okay, so let's all threat and apply progress. Discard to Aelin to make more progress. Another four, was it seven? Now I could take the risk of travelling here. Don't get more shadows than these as well. So I'm going to I think not risk it. But what I am going to do is Discard Kaldara to bring in Stargazer and Manuel. And go Stargazing. Right, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to put that. No, maybe that. That's fine. And two. So, two more resources. So, yeah, this will move me into combat. That's one attack. Okay. So, one damage. Makes an additional attack, makes two additional attacks. Uh, right. I'm going to have Frodo take the damage. 
camera in defense. Takes one damage. And then the second additional attack is undefended. So that's four. No, the Zolan Tracker is attacking for two, so five. Dead. I'm counting it as a game for the world. This gets a shadow card. Uh, uh, hang on. Refresh phase. Fresh phase, I will do this to get two extra resources and then spend all the resources in the of fate to bring back Kaldara. Which will leave me with this. Right, now this happens, neither of those are enemies. So now let's play. No, never lose my hand. Yeah, I guess I have to play that one anyway. When well, I can. And the map. Yeah, let's stick Steward and Elrond. Exhaust it. And... Divine Villier. Silverlord Archer. Fantastic. And let's get one healing as well. So, full threat, quest full six, eight times the other round, eleven. Ah, you can draw the cards and some allies. Well, Second card staging is the same thing again. Which puts in the shadow there, puts in the two threat there, and discards another two cards, one of which is an enemy. So we're now looking at eight threat in the staging area. Let's discard this. To Eowyn and discard this to Eowyn. And that's a little hell of it well equipped to put more stuff in the discard pile. Uh, so I'll discard it twice to Eowyn and make the five progress. Now, I could, I could probably do a little traveling here, I really should, so, okay, I will take a risk, I travel here, 
So I'll we'll just travel here. I can draw a card. Well, each player has to draw a card. Which I'm going to see even more shadow cards. And it will also trigger this again because it is in the staging area at the time that we are travelling to it. So there's a discarded. This has more threat, but that doesn't matter because we're past questing. So, I have a resource to play the hasty stroke in my hand. That would be really nice. Yes, I will defend. Uh, okay, both copies of the lead and the rest are gone. That's very nice. So yeah, four shadow cards, none of which did anything. There is no threat by one. Now oh, I'm just defending for four. So he's fine. So, Legolas and Silverman Archer attack for a total of 6 at range to kill this one. The Silverman Tracker had to play last round, so can't do anything here, but I can heal up and Frodo. I could play the tree people, but then the silver archer that I returned to my hand would get discarded at the end of the round, and I might not find anything useful. So, I think we'll leave it at that. At the end of the round, the time happens. So. Yeah, I should control R and do this properly. And then we need a round. We get our actual controls. Right, and then we start to two threat. And this has another shadow card. Stuart. Right. What have we got over here? No. It's a good meal, obviously. Uh, what's in the discard pile? What a question. Get a lot of willpower out. Uh, I might be advancing soon, so. Last point in focusing on that. So actually, I don't have Stargates for this deck. Right. Yeah. Oh no, no, it's an item. It'll go away. So maybe, maybe Gandalf, stick Gandalf at that. Gandalf, need the tribes more. And I guess I don't play any of these. Because then I'll hold on to them and be able to play them after I've advanced. Over here, get down this good meal. And I'm blindly for two. 
Good. Doesn't matter that much. So the staging area is empty. That's quest. Let's see, we need one. Nine progress to advance. Four, six, eight. Nine. Twelve. There's twelve. I'm likely to get more than just three threat. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I just can't find what I want. to draw them to Stargazer back into my hand. So on the 12 is probably not enough. So let's make it 16. Okay, we'll have to engage him. Six, that I make ten progress. Explored and we advance. There's the active location. Discard items and mounts. Don't have any. Record. No traits. Condition ring artifacts. Gondor title. Yep. No items, no mounts. And the ally that I will choose to keep is Arwen. And hmm. maybe I should keep the solar archer for the additional attack power so that I can kill things. Obviously not Gandalf, because he's already done for the round. The damage needing to be healed by the Southern Tracker, so yeah, okay. Keep the archer. And we need more Balkan enemies. What is left in the encounter deck? Well, there are a couple of stoppers in there, and I think I will pull them out. And yeah, I did just shuffle that. Shuffle this card kind of into deck. Go card. Okay. And shuffle this card kind of power into deck. This actually is bad for the Caldara deck. Most decks like it, but for Caldara it's a problem. That's kind of helpful. Okay. Oh, uh, that's resources. I do engage this. So this deck has four cards in its hand. This deck has two, but there's less good ways of dealing with the enemies. Uh, maybe I still send them off here, though. So, okay. Just got two cards. Um, neither of which is an enemy, so nothing. Shadows. Right. Second bit two. I meant to say that I'm offended. No, 
Bond defends this one for four. So plus two attack. Okay, so I'll do one damage there. Uh, um, um, Frodo defends this one. No, wait, he defends this one, which is for two. Plus one attack on the other shadow card. Okay. Okay, so that's two damage. So I'll play Faint on the other one. Right. Now I've got five attack available, so I'll just kill this warrior. And now that's three people. Okay. I think let's go for the runner. Shuffle. We'll attack for three, ignoring defense. Then. Again, the combat phase. The North Stage 3. Put two turns into play. Time 10. In the refresh phase. Two touch moves. Moves the time counter. Another time counter is removed. At the end of the round. New round. Well, that's slightly annoying. Play two for Stargazer. What is it with this guy playing again? Yeah. Have a little So I guess the other deck under the circumstances. Yeah, actually. So I guess for the other deck. Okay. Several useful things in there. What the amount of resources that one's going to have. I find we're going to just be drawing into these. That is worth a billion, though. Without exhausting. And there we go. So there's three threat in the staging area. Villia, Gilbert's Council. So we quest for four, six, nine, uh, twelve. I need four progress. So, 
This is going to be reasonable. Oh yeah, we'll be ready in one cut as well. So, okay. Time for one card. And discard the wall allies. Well, that has added no threat. So I make nine progress. This goes to the victory display. Travel here. Combat shadow. Oh, no cards left in the encounter deck. Very useful. So. Five attack. Five attack. 3 attack. Kaldara will take 3 attack. Frodo will take Titch. Plus 2 attack because the defending character is undamaged. So that's 7. Sorry, it's like by 5. Elrond will send on the Chieftain. We take two and then one damage because it would be R1 boost. This is attacking for three. Oh no, I was thinking this was a solar tracker, but it's not. Uh, hmm. I might actually take this undefended. Well. How much damage can I do this across with? 3, 6, 9. I can kill the Chieftain. Or the Stalker. So, yes, I will take this and defend it. So, 3 damage there. The Merkin Brother. Ignore's defense. And then three, six, nine. Since both of these enter play this round. Nine attack at range to kill. I think it will be the chieftain. Oh, that is a thing. Uh, no, I can't get an appreciable amount of attack out of my discard pile with Kaldara, so I won't bother trying. In the refresh phase. Two touch moves, lose two time counters. Draw two cards in the resource phase because of the Hippogreen stream. So now let's stick the expert treasure hunter on the Play the solar tracker. Play three for a shipwright. Okay, now let's discard Kaldara to bring in another shipwright and a miner. Stargaze. Sorry, I had a slight computer issue happening there. Right? 
So let's four. Yeah, one additional resource. Discard a bit Okay, three and forty more fate. Bring that all right back. Okay, and Pavilia. Yep, I'm healing. So let's quest three, seven, nine, eleven, fourteen, seventeen. Seventeen versus four. Five. This is explored, and we'll get both these enemies down here. Which removes two time counters because of cheap touch. So, right. Yeah, both of them do. Oh, uh, quested successfully. Attachment. So let's take this on the planet. Okay. Zero damage. Uh, Elrond will defend against Titch. He will take one damage. And uh, I suppose, let's see. It's going to take nine to kill this. I don't have nine. But, well, like, I probably could have nine. Yeah, I could get. An extra mm. uh, okay, so I definitely want this dead. So I guess this round, so it's two and five. Okay, how they will defend this. Plus one, so one damage. Do some healing. And now two, three, five. Dead. Oh, sorry. Throw it over for this. There's my threat with you. And back to me attacking with three, five, Caldara. I'm discarding to bring in a modern tracker and a long guide, which lets us play with two attacks, so three, five, seven, nine. This is dead, I've placed two progress, but it doesn't do anything. Refresh phase. Chief Touch moves, which is a time counter, and another one goes again at the round. The Sylvan Tracker heals up all my Sylvans. And let's take a look in my deck. Top my cards. Okay, not going to catch it there. I can't get cut out back before the resource phase. Planning phase one. Yeah, yeah, that works. I think I've got a nose.
And so, we can move me around. Play this good meal. Mine if you want. Discard a good meal. Discard Mephaeano to play Fortune of Fate as if it were in my hand. Play three because of the good meal. So Fortune of Fate goes onto the bottom of my deck and Kandara comes back into play. And I still have two resources left to play Unexpected Courage onto Elra. Good. Play the main guide. Elrond will quest without exhausting this round. Lilia. Gandalf. Okay, I suppose I'll just drop my threat at this point. Oh, this should have the results because I drew a card. Right. Four, six, eight. I don't think I need any more than that, really. Here's a dumb one. And low one provisions. Oh, wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven for this deck. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So, questing is fine, I won't bother travelling there. Combat. Throw a Palagay ship right on the bus. Plus one attack and another shadow card. Nothing. He's dead. And Elrond can defend this. Plus one for each shadow card. So that's fine. Warden will heal Elrond and Kandara. And so I need six attack to kill this. Four, six, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. I don't have to, I could have some of these guys pointlessly attack Turch, but he can't leave play, so it would be pointless. Oh, I forgot to trigger it. Right I'm to it. doesn't matter. In the refresh phase. Two touch. Moves across. Here's a time counter. Sylvan Tracker heals up all the Sylvans, along with the boost from Elrond. I suppose I could. Heal up the rest of the time, I don't know if I really wanted to. Because Elrond has all these resources. Not that there is any point! So. 
Uh, yeah. Various other pointless things that I can do. But the crux of the matter is that at the end of the round, I remove the time counter. After the last time counter is removed from the stage, the players make engagement checks. There, are, There's only one enemy in play, and he's already engaged. Then each engaged enemy makes an attack. And now can defend. Okay, takes more damage. If no heroes are destroyed by these attacks, the players win the game. Finally! I... I really kind of thought that I had it the second time. The first time, I just got horrible draws. Didn't get Milia, didn't get Steward, didn't draw allies after I advanced and lost all my allies. The last time it was just getting both copies of In Need of Rest in the same quest phase it meant that my trick of sticking them on Caldara didn't work. And then this time it just worked out as it was kind of intended to. So this is interesting. It gets kind of dicey when you advance at this point, but the right sort of deck can just muster a ton more allies immediately afterwards. Especially if you plan it, make sure that you have a few nice allies in your hand ready to go when you advance. And depend on a bunch of attachments that aren't items or mounts. Anyway, I'm glad that that's finally done. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.